largest and finest of the mass mortality trilobite plaques to ever come out of North Africa, the Dicalocephalina, which is this large trilobite that is preserved in its original matrix. This, this kind of work presents some speculations. It could have been a mating event and then an underwater cataclysm buried them all at the same time. But uh, it's, it's just exceptional. And that's a huge piece. In fact, I'm going to back up and use you as reference. Well, yeah. you can even see my hand. My hand is so much smaller than the trilobite itself. It's just uh, truly one of the magnificent natural pieces of uh, trilobite preservation that I've ever seen. That's Absolutely amazing. immense. Very few museums have anything of this quality. This is amazing. And about how old is this one? Oh, this is going to be back in the neighborhood of 420, 450 million years. Wow. And that one looks like a modern-day bulldog. Well, this is actually <laughs> the skull of the Zephactinus. Zephactinus was the largest bony fish that ever lived on this planet. Now, it lived uh, during the Cretaceous in what we now call the Niobrara Chalk, which is western Kansas. But you see the, the big sclerical ring, a bony ring in the eye, the large predatory type teeth. Now, this fish would have been possibly a 12 foot fish, but they've found complete skeletons uh, over 18 feet long. Wow. What is that mounted on? This, this is actually a chalk matrix made from the Niobrara chalk, uh, built on a faux matrix, framed uh, ready for a wall hanging. But wow. Believe it or not, this is found in North Dakota. It's an ancient, ancient uh, redwood-type forest. These would have been monster trees at the time, at the end of the dinosaurs. And they've got a bark preservation that's similar to as if it had died just today. The interior is actually petrified. The exterior with the bark is called colification. This entire forest, as you can see when you look at it, actually was burned. And when it was in this huge forest fire, it caused some sort of carbonization to happen in the bark area, uh -huh. which did not allow permineralization to happen to where you get the petrification on the interior. So you actually have bark that feels like it's it's maybe died yesterday or 10 years ago, but this is 63 million years old from North Dakota. Wow. And it's been mounted in a custom uh, format with iron. Uh, uh, it's part of the Zeta Azure collection, which we've got, I think, seven items in this uh, auction where they take natural mineral and fossil elements and incorporate it into an artistic design. And basically, it becomes a natural sculpture. It's beautiful. Stands 11 feet tall. How old do you think that is? 63 million years. Oh, this six. Wait, 63 million? Mm -hmm. I missed that part. Boy, 63 million. Well, wow. you know, 63 to 65. What's interesting is that this forest, that is basically laying flat on the ground today and buried, uh, died about the same time that the dinosaurs died. And so, in your mind, you start to speculate, is there a connection between yeah. this immense fire that wiped out this huge forest in North Dakota and the extinction of the dinosaurs? Because dinosaurs died out at 65 million years ago, too. And there oh, would have been a global fire at the time. It's so close. It's just fun to speculate. Oh, that is, that's really a neat piece. What, is, what are the auction estimates for this? Um, this is in the neighborhood of thirty dollars to $40,000. I always love unique pieces. That's really nice. And as you can see, we have a wonderful selection of petrified wood once again. In fact, uh, this one from Zimbabwe. That's pretty interesting. Look at the colors, the beautiful greens. Very unusual. And highly desirable for the interior designers and uh, the decorators. Very vivid. It's beautiful. This is an interesting piece. I'll remove the gloves on here, but you can see we're, <laughs> we're still in the process of setting up our display. Yeah. This is part of the uh, Zeta, Zeta Azure collection again. This is a, an obsidian ball sphere that has been fabricated that spins on a, on a natural iron base. Meteorite that's mounted in a way. I guess we have to do this here, but this will actually spin around very kinetic. It spins around. It's like an orbiting moon around a planet. That one's pretty neat. Uh, we've had to secure it so that someone doesn't come in and just start moving it because it'll just spin freely and just go. Oh, really? But uh, once again, one of these eclectic uh, 
sculpture, mineral, fossil, meteorite specimens from the uh, Zeta Azure collection. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's very. It's a very cool piece. And then take a look at the tabletop. Oh, now this is the one we really wanted to see. This is one of one of my favorite ones again yeah, when it comes to the decor section with the azurite malachite, uh, which is famous from Bisbee, Arizona, and you also get this out of Africa. The natural boulder with a polished surface, along with a sliced portion that has been polished to create this amazing uh, table with a with a natural iron base with bronze patina. It's it's really a, a unique one of a kind designer element. That is gorgeous. Wow. And we're talking, you know, fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars for a piece like this. Well, actually, that's pretty reasonable. This is a unique, very unique, and I've never seen a table with, I mean, anywhere like this. Fine wood in table form, slab form. This is a very nice piece, nearly four feet in diameter. This is an ancient pine from northern Arizona. It's a beautiful piece. And if you really want to get a little eclectic and you have an outdoor area where you could do a little entertaining, you may want to have a little kind of five wood table with little benches where you can <laughs> sit and relax. Oh, that is fun. This is Indonesian wood. Yeah. Uh, beautiful grays and blacks. So there, there's... Uh, a very useful and uh, functional aspect of many of the items. So if, that we have if you're in a home, like an older home, and you think you might have petrified wood, how do you know if it is petrified wood? Well, the first clue is going to be the weight. Okay. Wood, uh, in and of itself, even the hardest of the woods, the ironwoods, are heavy. But once you have the mineral mineral replacement, which normally is quartz, right? Uh, the weight becomes very, very uh, dense and. Uh, I mean, I, there's no way I could lift this piece. This piece by itself is about 800 pounds. That's 800 pounds? And each one of these oh benches, my. each one of these stools is 125 to maybe 175 pounds. Well, those aren't going anywhere, and they would never blow over in the wind. <laughs> and they're great for an outdoor application. Yeah, those are really nice. Now, what's this? Is that a table right next to you? It Say, almost Claudia, looks like could it. Could you comment on this beautiful slab of stone for us? This is beautiful. It's a mosaic that's formed out of cross-section slices of pure calcite. And the calcite uh, originates from Madagascar, uh, which is uh, just a fascinating region that's incredibly mineral rich. Uh, there are all sorts of um, wonderful specimens and minerals that come from Madagascar, um, and this particular one is noted for its bright blue color. Uh, the artist in this case has taken slices of boulders, um, uh, you know, that are sort of mid-sized boulders and cut cross-section slices and then form this mosaic. Um, what's nice about this is that it can be used in architectural applications. Um, it's actually been backed with a fairly lightweight aluminum backing so that you can mount it up on the wall and then put some sort of uh, order or framework around it. Uh, but it's lightweight, it can easily be picked up by a couple of people um, and mounted on the wall or used in other applications. It's a gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you.